Hi, uh, I'm Vaidhi. Uh, this is Lena. Uh, we are going to be talking about uh, uh, how you can set up uh, a continuous uh, delivery system for your uh, Android apps. Uh, why would you want uh, to set up a continuous uh, delivery system? Well, if you're building uh, a lean um, startup, if 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 you're concerned uh, about, um, if you're keen on getting feedback from your uh, users while you're actually building your product and you're trying to make sure that uh, you're going to have enough takers for your product then you want uh, to be able to push rapid releases of your product uh, uh, every day if it's possible. And if you want to push your product out every day, uh, you need uh, the least amount of uh, bottlenecks uh, in your uh, release process and uh, a continuous uh, delivery system is what is going to help you achieve that. Uh, Lena is going to talk a little bit more about uh, the specifics of our talk. Hi, Lisa. Hi, this is Lena. Uh, in the talk, we'll include uh, how to set up a continuous integration server, and then uh, run your run all your automated tests, and then create and sign the packages, and move it to your FTP location so that you can download, install it on your devices, and then show show it to your uh, users or slash uh, stakeholders to get your feedback, and then integrate back into, into your development process. And I'm so excited to talk about in the. Uh, coming into icon because this is the first first icon that is happening in India that is that doing that.